What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Fresh Friend Sports, and today we're going to be doing a prospect breakdown slash scout report on Zach Harrison. If you're new here, check out the channel. We have over 50 different prospects already done, as well as positional rankings for all positions. So without further ado, let's get started. He's 6'6", 268 pounds, senior edge rusher from Ohio State. Stats from him, he has had 97 tackles, 24 tackles for loss, 11 sacks, 1 interception, nine pass deflections, one fumble recovery, and four forced fumble. Awards from he was a first-team All-Big Ten this season, and he's a two-time second-team All-Big Ten in 2020 and 2021, and he was a five-star recruit coming out of high school. Strengths from he's a five-star raw athletic pass rusher with great physical traits. Harrison is a tall and lengthy at 6'6 with almost a 36-inch arms. He has good frame with you know good upper body strength. Uh, he has the elite athletic traits as well. He's a pure athlete with great straight line speed. He's quick off the snap and has good timing to beat defenders off the edge and has that good closing speed. Um, he plays with a ton of violence and power in his hands as well. Um, he gets good leverage and has, you know, the lower body to be able to pull off these bull rushes, you know, straight off the snap. Cons from though, he's definitely still raw as a pass rusher and he needs to develop, you know, a pass rush plan and has been pretty disappointing in his production and I think that's exactly why. Uh, he also needs to play with a better play recognition and awareness against the run, you know, having really bad tackling angles. Pro comparison, I'm going to have to go with Jadavion Clowney. They're similar size, physical size to speed pass rushes with a high motor. The power leverage in his hands that Harrison plays with and, you know, the long arms he plays with also the bat down passes really do remind me of Clowney. The difference is Harrison really did lack the college production he was expected to coming in as a five-star at Ohio State. Uh, Clowney dominated college football and, you know, he's been pretty mediocre uh, in the NFL. He has, he has career 43 career sacks, uh, was a first pick, um, and I think it's just because he hasn't been able to find a good fit. Uh, I think Harrison, you know, he needs to find a good fit to have the production and to grow overall as a player um, to be able to come up and become uh, clowning or even better. Team Fitz, I'm going to have to go with the Browns. Harrison is a similar player uh, to dominate with Garrett like Clowney was. I think that worked pretty well. Harrison, who's played, you know, his whole career at left end, could be in a, you know, the same position that he played um, with Chase Young at. So, you know, he's used to playing with a dominant defense and alongside with him, uh, playing four years at a big, you know, Ohio State team that's produced a lot of defensive ends. Um, I think that, you know, his explosiveness and hand strength will allow him to grow as a great run defender uh, on that side and be able to uh, overall grow as a player and bring in some more production, especially if he's alongside Miles Garrett. Draft projection, I'm going to have to go with third round pick. You know, he's raw, but has shown great improvement over his years. Uh, he has a high ceiling still and should impress at the combine with the measurements and his athleticism. Going back to what I said, you know, his improvement uh, years before everybody was saying, you know, he's not the five star that he came in as. He's not this, he's not this. This year, first team all Big Ten in his first senior season. We've seen drastic improvements. Um, this guy played very well. Um, and it was a big belt. There was a nice little defense and combo. It didn't live up to the potential it should have been. But overall, I think that, you know, Harrison proved himself to still be, you know, a talented guy. Uh, I think he could sneak into the second round. But there's a lot of, you know, great pass rushers in this class. And Harrison's traits are giving him a day to projection either way. So we're just trying to, he's more, it's more like a list. And he's kind of on the outside of it. But, like, a team's going to take their chances on him because he has that physical traits. And that's something that teams want to work with. So, overall, great guy. I think he's definitely going to come in and dominate. He just needs to be in the right system. If that's all, thank you guys for watching. Check out all the videos on the channel. Comment down below what you want to see. If that's all, thank you guys for watching. And peace.